Hi guys, Ace of Hearts Fox here and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. So today's video is 10 tips for beginning fursuiters. Some of these tips are more for staying safe and making sure you have a good time when you're fursuiting, and other tips are related to bringing your character to life. So let's get started! Tip number one, find your surroundings. When you're in a fursuit, not only do you have a big black bar right here down the middle of your vision, but you're also essentially looking through a tunnel. There's little to no peripheral vision when you're in a fursuit. So make sure you're just aware of your surroundings. I've had a lot of times where I've accidentally bumped into things like fire hydrants or stepped off curbs without looking, so just be careful. Tip number two, use the buddy system. Most of the time when I go fursuiting, I try to have a handler with me, but if you can't find a handler, try to bring a friend along with you to go fursuiting with you. Not only is it a lot safer to make sure you have someone with you at all times, but it's just a lot more fun to bring along a friend. Tip number three, take frequent breaks. It's really easy to get carried away when you're having fun, you're having a good time, and you forget how tired you are. Just remember every now and again to go sit in the shade or have a glass of water and sit down for a little bit. Not only will this make your experience a lot more comfortable, but you'll be able to pursue a lot longer when you're taking breaks. Tip number four, exaggerate movement. When you're in a fursuit, not only is your voice and your sight kind of blurred, but your movements are kind of muffled too. For instance, if I use the same amount of effort that I use out of a fursuit to wave someone when I'm in fursuit, it's gonna look something like this. See that? So you're gonna wanna put a lot more movement than you usually would when you're moving in a fursuit. So make sure you exaggerate. Which brings me to tip number five. Don't be afraid to get into character. I know all of us are afraid of looking silly, but honestly, when you're wearing a fursuit, almost anything you do will look cute. The moment you loosen up and start to have fun with the character, the lot better the performance is gonna be. So don't be afraid to do little things like batting at your ears or shaking your head around. Just get into it. And on that note, tip number six is to animate yourself. Think about a video game character. We rarely see characters in video games standing completely still. Like if I did my videos standing completely still like this, nobody would want to watch them. Unless you're specifically looking for fursuiters that stand still. But anyways, I rarely move around this much when I'm not in a fursuit. But it really adds a cartoonish quality to the character if you're constantly moving. Like when I'm standing still, I usually have a little sway to me, or if I'm walking, I add a little bit of a bounce into my step, and that adds a lot of life into the character. So get animated! Tip number seven! Watch other fursuiters. Now, I wouldn't say to completely imitate someone else's character, but if you have elements of that character that you find really appealing, maybe try to apply that to yours. One of my favorite things to do is look at convention videos on YouTube. Those are great ways to draw inspiration for your character. After you start taking bits and pieces, you can construct your own unique style. Tip number eight, be careful when you're fursuiting in public. I see a lot of videos on the internet of people fursuiting in shopping malls and at stores, and while that looks like a lot of fun, you gotta keep in mind that some places have a policy where you can't wear masks in their store. So if you do fursuit somewhere public, make sure you call ahead and confirm that they're okay with wearing your fursuit there. Plus, it's nice to just give them a heads up so you don't catch them completely off guard, because let's be honest, not everybody's used to seeing one of these every day. If you're not looking for anything specific and just really want to go outside in fursuit, public parks are a great place to do that. Usually they're okay with you wearing a costume there. Tip number nine, brush your fursuit. This is one of those things where a little bit goes a long way. I had my first fursuit for about four years and it still looks pretty good. This is because I performed regular maintenance on it, making sure it was nice and clean and that the fur was always brushed. If you just take a few minutes to brush the fur out before and after you're done fursuiting for the day, it's not only going to make it look better, but the fursuit's going to last a lot longer too. And now tip number 10! Stay hydrated! This is one of those things that everybody says, but it is literally that important. Almost every single time I go to a furry convention, I hear about a fursuiter that gets dehydrated and ends up going to the hospital. So make sure that if you have a handler, they have a few bottles of water, or do what I do. I like to keep a camel back on me so I can always be sipping water throughout the day. Most of the time, I don't even realize how dehydrated I am until I start getting a drink of water. So stay hydrated and you'll have a lot more fun. So that's 10 tips for beginning fursuiters. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips for beginning fursuiters that I didn't cover in this video, go ahead and leave them in a comment down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications anytime I upload a new video. So thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Ace of Arts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Psh.